Hi and welcome to our Year 6 Parent Information Evening. My name is Mr Grubhead, I'm Head Teacher of the school and I'm proud and privileged to be the Head Teacher here. Um, it's a shame that we can't have this meeting with you all in the school, but hopefully you can see from this video how much we care about the students and we want, to want your child to succeed here. Over the last 18 months there has been significant improvements within the school. We have a real strong leadership team. We've raised expectations, we've got high expectations within the school and high standards within the school and within the academy. Um, I'm Mrs Crammon, I'm Senior Deputy Head Teacher here and I've been at Monkwea Mouth Academy for just over a year now. Um, my previous experience has always been working in outstanding schools for over 25 years now um, and I've been very fortunate to work with some amazing teams um, in teaching and learning and pastoral and I've worked in school improvement, I've worked with a number of schools to, as part of their senior leadership team to bring them towards that outstanding badge. Um, part of my role, the, the reason that I've been brought here is to support and help and share my experience of that and I'm really excited to do that at Monkwea Mouth. We've also introduced a brand new curriculum within the skill. We've looked at the market force, we've looked at our local area and through that we've developed a curriculum which we, we feel is suitable for the 21st century with ambition and stretch and challenge. Hello there, I'm Mr Carling. I am one of the deputy head teachers here at uh, Mount Weymouth. I'm responsible for essentially for curriculum. So everything that gets taught in school and exams that follow at the end. Just to talk you through a little bit about what curriculum will be like here at Mount Weymouth. Our purpose is to prepare young people for life in the 21st century. So we have a, an inspiring curriculum that will kind of light fires and prepare um, young people to be effective um, participants in the workplace and to be uh, effective um, parts of society. We do that through making sure that we know what goes on in primary school, so what young people have learned in years five and six to prepare them for secondary school. We build on those skills to make sure that we have exciting and inspiring lessons all the way through from year seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. We don't just focus on knowledge, so we're not just about passing exams. We're all about making sure that our young people have skills to make them employable and to make sure that they can move on to the next stage in their lives. So as I say, not just knowledge to pass exams, but skills like analysis and um, evaluation to make sure regardless of what job or what um, career they go into in the future, they can make sure that they can be uh, happy and successful and they can achieve in those careers. So what is different? Well, by raising standards, firstly, we've ratcheted up in terms of our expectations with regards to behaviour. We have a much stronger behaviour policy in place which has allowed us, which certainly has allowed our students to flourish within the school. We also have a house system. The house system brings us together stronger as a community. And with, with us having a stronger community, we can work closely with our students. Here at Weymouth Academy, we have numerous opportunities which develop us as students. The Student Council is one of those opportunities where students' voices can be heard and shared with teachers. Us as student councillors have made many important decisions and if you become one you get to make them too. In the school council meetings we all voice our opinions and if we decide that we don't like something we try to come up with a conclusion and how we can fix that. We have changed many things in the school such as our one-way systems, our uniform and a lot of us have been on mental health courses to help little students around the school. Hi, I'm Mr Graham and I'm one of the assistant heads at Wearmouth School and I'll be looking after your child in terms of pastoral care. Pastoral care at Wearmouth has always been a strength and it continues to be a strength. We've changed our team, developed the system and on top of having excellent tutors who've always been keen to make sure that there's effective communication and instant support every morning we've moved towards a house system. The house system is there to try and give everybody a continued care. 
where we can include students, all of their brothers and sisters within that one house. So the care and the level of communication between parent and school is so much better, so much more effective and also so much more caring. We want to make sure that your child feels safe, secure and always happy in order to be able to go on and achieve. We encourage students to kind of support each other. We have a range of peer mentors and other support groups. We have mental health ambassadors and we also got mental health first aid students. One of the things we have improved is feeling more safe in school. We've now introduced a one-way system around the school so the corridors aren't as crowded. So as students, we have also been peer mentors to the younger students. This involves taking them around school and helping them with their lessons. Students can get support from their tutors and head houses. You see your tutor every day. There are many staff around the school with green lanyards. This means you can talk to them about mental health. As well as teachers, there are also a few students who do the course on mental health. So you can always ask your teacher and who they are. Come with them for help if you don't want to speak to your teacher. We have a strong team within teaching and learning. We have a CPD programme, meets with regards to our teachers, and also we have that programme, that calendar programme of support for our teachers as well. We all teaching and learning has been a primary focus for change. Um, we're very excited to be working on a number of projects as a team with our staff. We're looking at schemes of learning, we're getting them so that they're, they're purposeful, they're engaging, that our students are active within the classroom, that they're not passive. We're looking at training our staff in new methods of, of, of teaching so that they, they can really work and intervene with, the, with individual members of, of, of our, our school. We're also looking at the learning journey of each and every single student that we have. As a student council we actually got the opportunity to take new teachers around the school and voice our opinions on who we wanted to be our teachers the next year. In lessons we have the opportunity to work in groups with people who we wouldn't usually work with. And the interaction between teachers and students is brilliant and you can build up a really good friendship with your teacher. As a school I firmly believe we are inclusive and we care about our students. And that's evident again with us having a transition programme through the, the COVID period and also our summer school, which was a great success for years seven, eight and nine. We had a lot of students who attended our summer camps. To make sure that your child feels comfortable making that huge step up, we have a really, really effective transition programme. In fact, we were probably the most successful transition programme last year. We were the only school in Sunderland to run any face-to-face -face transition for all of our feeders and our non-feeder schools, running well over seven, eight weeks worth of transition, bringing every student in from every primary school so they all had the opportunity to meet staff, take part in lessons and make sure that they were fu fully aware of who was there to support them. As well as that, we also put in an extensive summer school. The well-being of our students is paramount. We hadn't seen our students for such a long period because of the COVID situation. So to ensure that students felt comfortable coming back, we put on a full well-being programme throughout the six weeks holiday. The three weeks away in our school, working with our staff for years seven, eight and nine, and then we continued working with our partners in the community. We work really closely with Friends of Fulwell and North East Sport to make sure that there's support there in all kinds. We've recently redeveloped our partnership for Sunderland Mind because we feel well-being, mental health, emotional well-being is top priority to make sure that students feel comfortable in these troubling times. Our motto is Believe, Achieve, Succeed. We want every student to believe in themselves and develop that resilience and from day one we instill that into our students. Our students have flourished and results last year is evidence of students believing in themselves and through that belief they'll achieve and succeed. And succeed doesn't mean that all students go on to get grade nines, they succeed to go on to whichever path they want to go into. We 100% we believe in our students. We want them to achieve the very best results that they possibly can in order to succeed, not just in their exams, but in life. Thanks for taking your time and showing that interest in Weymouth Academy. If you have any further questions, then please get in touch. We're always here to help, support, 
guide, give advice. We would love to see you and we'd love to see your child join the school. Thank you. There is so much more aspects to our school which make it a fantastic school to go to. We hope you enjoyed our video and we hope to see you all very soon. Bye! <laughs>